Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Good morning! Guess where we're heading? We're heading to see the baby. The baby? This is one of the, like, we haven't vlogged <laughs> since we've had a baby. So, like, well, well, or, I mean, like, we didn't, we didn't, I mean, not since we had a baby. <laughs> we have not vlogged while having it, like, these appointments it's true. and it's the true. prep. And this is really fun. Like, I, and it's our only it makes it more exciting. One. It makes it more exciting. This is our last one. And uh, anyway, so we have our what week, what week checkup is this? 14 week. 14 maybe? week checkup and it's going to be awesome. Awesome, awesome. Can't wait. I can't wait to go see, go see, see that, that baby. Nugget. Can't wait to go see that little nugget. It's going to be fun. Here we come. All right, so we're on our way and I decided, I think there's a couple things that I don't remember about last, year about last time that I was pregnant. Right. It's because, weird. man, I am like, you forget. <laughs> I mean, I'm putting on the weight, I'm putting on, no, I'm not. already losing sleep over this. No, you're not. What do you, what did you forget about? All the minor aches and pains. Like, if I stand up and go, I have to stand up and like stop for a second and go, or else like ligaments in my stomach like will hurt really bad all day. Weird. Yeah, the other day I, I walked in from the garage and she's like, hunched over. I'm like, oh gosh, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, my, my hips. I don't think it was my hip. It was, it like, was like her ligament, ligament in, in her in her hip. Yeah. yeah. And then what else? Um, <laughs> heartburn. I already have heartburn. I really don't want to be on a prescription heartburn medicine, but I've never made it through a pregnancy yeah. and not been able to. But it's starting. But it hasn't been as bad this time because I'm not able to eat much. <laughs> I'm interested to have them weigh me. Yeah. See if I've, yeah. I don't know. And what else? Um, so heartburn, acne. I like acne. Yeah. Really? Like, I like will get random acne that I haven't had. Even. I didn't really. Shut up. Are you I didn't even really have acne in like. It's like 13 like, now. No, I didn't really. I was very blessed to not have acne. So it's just weird to me that I yeah. will have I it now. Noticed. It's not too bad, but yeah. it's not fun either. Huh. I don't know. You asked me what I noticed. I think you still look good. Thanks, babe. Even with all that acne. <laughs> Stop. Me I'm too. excited to find out if it's a boy or girl. We might be able to find out if it's a boy or girl today, depending on some camera angles, things like that. <laughs> I know, I or really want to. Just, he or she, you know, uh, wants to be helpful. Yep. Oh, that would be so fun. What if we just find out? What if what in if we an found hour out we right know? Now? <sighs> we'll tell you. Well, actually, no, we no, won't. We won't. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, you see baby. So excited. You excited mama. Can I be worried about that? No, no, the baby has feet. I just, it's not all in this uh, picture. I really see, look, there's feet. Oh right my good. gosh. I feel like I was even really worried here, but also. Oh, baby looks really, looks really crammed in there. It, uh, yeah, <laughs> and above it, there's two hands there. You can see one here. Yeah. Oh, yep. You can see the left leg. Yeah, you can't see the right one just because yeah. it's taken out by the picture. Just, to fill this point. Oh. just the head, umbilical cord, left oh leg there, gosh, arm up so there, much. other arm. Scary looking face. I know, they're always scary at this point. <laughs> That is it's, uh, creepy. Wow. Like, it's like a little grin smiling Yeah. Smiling at <laughs> yeah. <you. laughs> oh, that little well, dang. We didn't find out what the gender was. I'm a little oh. disappointed, won't lie. Yeah. I was really hoping. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. but but it's okay because we saw baby heart rate looks good everything looks good we we got to see like a full-on body shot of baby yeah it has both of its hands and both of its feet up, up by his his or her face too so, so cute. cute just to see like this little hat so Aww. maybe we can uh, put a little picture or something in yeah. here um actually we got it right here i don't know if you guys can see that you need to pause the video okay That's ready pause baby. So it was just, it's so fun. So fun to see, see baby and- Makes me feel like I it's can just do more this exciting. again. Like, yeah. okay. Oh, good, good. Not okay, again, we can not, do this not again, guys. another baby, but We're like- We're gonna have another baby. You heard it already on camera. She wants to have another baby. No, I mean, again is in like for the next four weeks till I yeah. see it again. Yeah. Okay, but all right, I guess. They're going to let us come in in three weeks, which would be, I'll be 16, almost 17 weeks. Yeah. And the, he said he thinks he'll be able to tell the gender then. Yeah. So we're going to go in. If the coronavirus is under control enough that we can get together with Jay's family, we're going to get together with them that weekend so then we could tell them the gender. Oh my gosh. Which means so you fun. guys are going to get to know the gender about then. Yep. Which will be exciting. May is going to be a good month. I hope so. Hopefully I hope it doesn't last quarantine. as long as April. Yeah. April has felt like 80 million this years. This has been like the longest pregnancy of my life. Like, I can't even handle His life. this, guys. Mm -hmm. This is, I mean, oh, man. Yes, today is the last day my mom's here. And then she's gonna go with my sister for three months. Super jealous. So she was saying, what can we do that'll be, la like, that'll last? What's an, a project I can help you with? So we are picking my laundry room. Now that I have my third top shelf up here, we are picking my laundry room. So ideally, these two shelves will have six laundry baskets. So I can have towels, sheets and blankets, lights, darks, whites. Is that six? I don't know. So I need to go through and take everything out and get this laundry room looking tip top shape. got a phone call from your teacher and she said because you were doing such a good job doing your homeschool and doing it every day that she was gonna come put a sign in our yard that says that you're a good student did you see one in Abigail's yard that said she was her teacher student of the week hey. are you excited you that means so your teacher's bad. gonna come so I'm dead are you so excited? I'm what do you think? Dead. Are you excited about it? Yes, I'm dead though. Well, <laughs> I'm dead. We could, we could get a floor piece of snow over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look how cute she is just waiting. She's so excited. You excited? Yes. You're going to get a sign in our yard because you've been working hard. Uh, yay! It is so windy out there. Hey, how does that make you feel? Good? You got it the first week? That should make you feel pretty good about yourself. Proud of you. How did you get that? Wait, come here. From them. We have the cutest friends. They dressed their car up like an ice cream truck and came and knocked on all the doors. Oh my gosh, you're so You guys, did that make your heart happy? Yeah. I Palmer, was that so sweet? It made my heart hungry. And your tummy happy, huh? And my tummy happy. Palmer, what do you tell Jeanette? Thank you. You thank say thank you. you. Thank you. She's like, no thank, thank you. you. I got my popsicle. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. good. All right, so today has been a, such a good day. Um, We've had work, we've had uh, doctor's appointments, we've had 
I actually got to see some of my coworkers today. Hi. And Michelle and her mom have been working super hard on the laundry room, and I didn't even know this. So they want to show me what it looks like now. So I did just put it on another shelf so we can put our, our 72 hour kits or our go bags on that top shelf so we can just have them ready and, and ready to get out. And um, anyway, but I didn't, I didn't paint it and I didn't get it all cleaned up in there. So I think they did some major good work in there. Let's go check it out. Here we go. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! It's pretty good, huh? Wow, guys, it looks so good. You show them yet? So they cleaned this all up. This was all super dirty. And laundry baskets all over. But now, they're on here. So we got laundry, I'm assuming clean and, and dirty. Um, no. Dirty or clean or all dirty. whatever. All dirty. Just, Why? just massive Towel. dirtiness. Yeah, I need Are a you label. Gonna label? I'm gonna okay. get a label maker. Can I get a label maker, honey? Uh, sure. All right. And then we can all, we got all our 72 hour kits up here. Yep. Or our and so go there's, bags. There's also, let me show you these. I'm gonna get an open door hanger for this. Oh. And a new cover. Oh, because nice. what even is this? This one's just, it's just, just burns. We're gonna get a new cover. Yeah. And then I'm thinking labels for each of these. Okay. I could maybe do clean and dirty if I was really on top of my life, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. You are so on But top I did of all of these. There's seven of these. Whoa. And they have different stuff that can be labeled. And I put the chemicals I don't want the kids, like, Palmer to get into up super high. So That's I'm a good thing. Really excited about it. It looks so good. Do you guys remember the before? It looks really good. You, I noticed you guys, like, cleaned up the the washer and dryer. Yeah, really oh, like, yeah. Like and we, like... Touched up. There was a, we had a little water, water issue here spillage. that we painted, and we painted these. Yeah. yeah. And by we, I mean my mom, because I can't be around the paint. So good. And then if you ever need this instruction manual, I keep it to the side. Oh, good. Thank you. It said, do not discard on the top. Really? Yeah. Huh. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, Yay. Well, today has turned into no joke. So. We've been kind of a little MIA the last couple hours. My uncle had a blood clot that went to his lungs, caused a heart attack. He went into cardiac arrest. It's been quite the day as my mom's trying to get out of town to go see my sister in the morning. So there's been a lot of tears around this place, but I just wanted to leave you guys with like a message of hope because I feel like amongst all of the heartache that I've been feeling tonight, and all the issues, I feel like we're all going through a lot of weird things right now with the pandemic and everything going on. Real life is still going even in the pandemic and it's hard. But as we have those around us that help like brighten our days and do service, you can be that person for someone else and then they can be that for you when you're having a hard time. My friend showed up today with her car, as you saw earlier, in the ice cream truck. And things like that just brighten my day and make me so happy. So I encourage you guys to just be there for someone else tomorrow. Do something for someone else. Help pay it forward. Make the world a better place. That's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow I'm going to find one thing I need to do I wouldn't have done in the name of my uncle to kind of bring me some peace to do something that I can do to make the world a better place. So with that, I'm gonna go to bed. My eyes are so tired. Can you tell I've been crying for a while? <laughs> Hashtag real life, right? Anyways, I'm off to bed. You guys are great. We'll keep you updated, and we'll see you tomorrow.